Hi, it's November 1st. Thanks for joining Pleasant Hill United Methodist Church for the Upper Room Devotion. Our devotion today was submitted by Margaret Martin from Australia. The passage suggested to read today is Psalm 28. To you, Lord, I call. You are my rock. Do not turn a deaf ear to me. For if you remain silent, I will be like those who go down to the pit. Hear my cry for mercy as I call to you for help, as I lift up my hands toward your most holy place. Do not drag me away with the wicked, with those who do evil, who speak cordially with their neighbors but harbor malice in their hearts. Repay them for their deeds and for their evil work. Repay them for what their hands have done and bring back on them what they deserve. Because they have no regard for the deeds of the Lord and what his hands have done, he will tear them down and never build them up again. Praise be to the Lord, for he has heard my cry for mercy. The Lord is my strength and my shield. My heart trusts in him, and he helps me. My heart leaps for joy, and with my song I praise him. The Lord is the strength of his people, a fortress of salvation for his anointed one. Save your people and bless your inheritance. Be their shepherd and carry them forever. The focal verse for the devotion is Psalm 28, 7. The Lord is my strength and my shield. My heart trusts in him and he helps me. The title of the devotion is A Guiding Hand. Twice a week I wait for a morning bus at the top of a small hill. While I wait, I watch as primary school children ride bikes to school with their parents. The children often struggle to get up the hill on their bikes, but their loving parents give them a word of encouragement or lean down from their own bikes to gently guide their child up the hill. Watching these parents makes me think of the guiding hand of God in my life. In my early twenties, after completing my master's degree, I went to a training college in Auckland, New Zealand, with the intention of becoming a high school teacher. While there, I was unexpectedly offered a lecturing job at an Australian university. I prayed for guidance in this dilemma. On the Sunday before I was to give my answer, I was teaching a Bible class at church when God's guidance came to me clearly. This was where I should be, teaching teenagers, not working in a university. Like a good parent, God helped me recognize my strengths, and I went on to have a rewarding career as a teacher. Confiding in God in prayer, seeking guidance, and receiving answers have been mainstays in my life. Looking back, I can see that God has always been with me. Our thought for the day is God will help me recognize my strengths. Our prayer focus is teachers. Please pray with me. Loving God, Thank you for always being with us. Grant us the faith to trust in your guidance and to help us recognize your hand at work in our lives. Amen. Thank you for joining us. I hope you have a great day. God bless you.